Hi, my name's Roger Williams. I own an engine shop here in St. Paul, Indiana. The good folks at E3 Spark Plugs asked me to answer some of your questions each month. Well, this month, um, I'm answering a couple questions, but one comes from Dan Price Jr. And he asked me, would an EFI engine benefit from a two or four pattern cam? Well, Dan, that's a good question, and it warrants more than just an answer. Uh, it warrants an explanation. A lot of folks out there don't understand what a four pattern cam shaft is. NASCAR technology trickles down. To compensate, comp cams apply NASCAR technology that employs dissimilar valve events to help equalize airflow to all cylinders. The new valve timing results in a significant increase in area under the curve with the added bonus of improved high speed stability. The comp strategy gives the cylinders with longer runners, the outboard four corners, more duration, time in degrees, and a later intake closing to move the same air volume as the center inboard runners. Shorter runners need less duration and earlier intake closing event to balance the airflow volume between the cylinders. The four pattern cams incorporate four different load patterns with specific intake and exhaust timing for the outboard and inboard cylinders. The four inboard cylinders utilize the same grind while the outboard intake opening point is delayed two degrees and the exhaust opening comes two degrees earlier. This initiates outboard cylinder blowdown earlier to lower cylinder pressure on the exhaust cycle, thus reducing high RPM pumping losses and presenting less resistance and potential contamination to the incoming charge. The later intake closing extends the flow event to accommodate the longer flow path of the outboard runners. The same overlap period is maintained by incorporating different lobe angles on the inboard and outboard lobe sets. Most performance cams are ground on a four degree advance from the manufacturer, but Comp's four pattern cams are ground on a 5.5 degree advance to accommodate the lobe center and valve opening requirements to maintain the same overlap period in all cylinders. Well Dan, <clears throat> to answer your question, um, a four pattern cam is designed to take advantage of the longer and shorter intake runners. Um, of a single plenum manifold. A lot of EFI manifolds have a big plenum with equal runners as you can see in the photos I'm illustrating. The, uh, with those log big plenum manifolds and equal runners there really is no benefit in a four pattern camshaft. Depending on what kind of manifold you're running dictates whether a two or four pattern cam is best suited for your application. I also want to answer one more question that was asked. It's written in by Ryan Tazoki. What would you say your favorite part of building an engine is? <laughs> the end result. Ryan, that's the, the best part of building an engine in my business is the end result. Seeing the results on the dyno here and looking at the customer's face when he gets to see his engine running. Uh, that's the best part in my opinion. Uh, I enjoy the technology. I enjoy learning new stuff. Uh, if we ever quit learning, then we might as well quit. But, uh, um, you know, the whole... The whole idea of uh, starting from scratch and building something and then seeing it, the end result of it and performing the way it's supposed to, that's the most satisfying part. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, my little segment here. And uh, I tried to answer most of your questions via email that, uh, that was written in, but these were my two favorites that, uh, that uh, stood out. And both of you guys are going to be getting Seth Spark plugs from uh, E3 this month. Until next time. Get yourself out there and work on your hot rods and get out from behind that computer. Talk to you later.